Hi dudes. Hi. And welcome back for a new episode, a new show time number yeah. six. I, think I was so. about to say seven, but I think it is six. Yeah. It is. Okay. How are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty great. Um, I'm looking at my plants right now because I've been gardening, gardening, yes, this past few <laughs> weeks. And uh, that is very relaxing to do. So yeah, I'm doing great. And you? I'm doing great too, even though it's not sunny outside and it's supposed to be summer, but uh, I'm waiting. Yeah. Waiting for the sun? Yeah. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> like we can't put songs, so we're just singing. Do you know? it. Then okay. Okay, so today, new show time. So we have Netflix, music, recipes, and IG accounts. Okay. No YouTube parts, Sally. But that is the first, I think it is the first time in the show time that we don't have a You're, YouTube part. You are the YouTube lady, so I'm kind of disappointed. Let me explain, okay? <laughs> so, first of all, there's nothing on YouTube. I haven't been really active i would say yeah on mm -hmm. the youtube and social media too so that's why but mm. who knows maybe in the next show time we'll have plenty of things to say so, yeah. i actually have great videos to watch but the reality is that i i have no time so <laughs> but i think they are going to be great so maybe next month yeah or maybe. not we'll see or not. Anyway, that was a... <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Netflix, yeah. I'm going first then. Okay, so maybe Netflix, with a little yeah. more energy. <laughs> I'm going first then, no. So okay. On Netflix, uh, this month, I only watched uh, an animation movie called Wish Dragon. Mm -hmm. so let me read, let me read, sorry, the plot. So it is about a, okay, according to this, to this uh, website called movieinsider.com, um, Wish Dragon Dean, a working class college student with big dreams, but small means and long, a cynical, but all powerful dragon capable of granting wishes, set off on a hilarious adventure through the modern day Shanghai in pursuit of Dean's long lost childhood friend Lena. So basically, it's like Aladdin movie, but um, it is not with the, you know, falling in love things. It's about reconnecting with an old friend and it is um, in China and it is not the genie. It is not a genie, but a dragon because um, if you know, in the Chinese history, dragon have like they have powerful power, powerful mm -hmm. power, and they are super <laughs> like, you know, people love dragon. For example, if you say, um, I'm born in 2000, which means that your zodiac sign in Chinese is um, dragon, it's like, you got it, you know. So it was really great to watch. And also because I'm studying Chinese, like Mandarin, Mandarin, yeah, especially, uh, and seeing Shanghai because I've been to Shanghai, by the way, guys, and um, it was really great to like reconnect with the city, but also like the tradition, because if you look at the movie in depth, yeah, wow, I'm using some words today, <laughs> in depth, uh, you can see many, many references, so that is really great, and it is funny also, mm -hmm. so really recommend this movie like if you have nothing to do on a sunday afternoon for example just because watch. we're sunday that's, yeah. that is why just watch with dragon honestly you won't regret it mm -hmm. my mom loves it loved it sorry so leslie you should watch it and also okay. guys <gasps> yeah did i did i tell them that in the no. previous mm -hmm. show time no you, you know what I what yeah, I'm going to say. So yeah. finally, I watched Moxie. Moxie. -da -da. If you know, then you know. Uh, <laughs> but I don't. I don't think you know because actually, 
I don't even know if people like you know follow those show times. I don't know. But if you I don't know, you even know. know if people follow us, but it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad to say, but if you know that Leslie, I think since February, February, no, no March, no, 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 no April, no, no, no. it was out April? in April, I think so. Okay, since April or March, I don't know, whatever. April, March, March, April. Mm -hmm. She's like. Oh, Alex, like you need to watch this movie. You're going to love it because it has like this feminist um, message, message, but also you you will like how the plot is cheesy set <laughs> and uh, yeah, cheesy. I don't know, like you will like it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, do not do worry this week. Like I'm going to do it. Like I've been on Netflix since and I was like, oh, Maxi, okay, waiting list, waiting list. <laughs> and then I don't know why. But I wanted to watch it, so I did click and I watched Moxie, which was like a great movie. In June. So thank in you. In June. In June. Yeah, in June. But you know, I think it's better late than never, we say. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That was my Netflix adventure part for the showtime. But I, I'm not surprised because you are always like that. Like saying that I'm going to watch something and then yeah, watch especially another. for movies and series, oh, you yeah. always say, "Oh yeah, I will watch it," and then you turn twenty and you haven't watched it yet. Like you guys, like you dudes. Sorry, no. Uh, we have like this meeting, like weekly meeting with my friends, and all all the time they're like, "Yeah, you should watch anime. Mm. You should watch <laughs> this movie." And I'm like, yeah, they are on my on my watching list. But then I do not watch them, but I think it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we had this meeting and um, one of my friends say, said, oh, do you know, we have like this um, cartoon that just um, went up on Netflix, on the Netflix catalog in French. And I was like, no way, because I don't know how you call that in the... Uh... I don't know, but it's like something you used to watch when you when you were young, so... Yeah, it was like... It was, you know, emotional. I was so happy. And actually, I think I just finished like four episodes of season one. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But Let I'm me. quite the same because I have to watch what I want to watch before the um, taking recommendation people. yeah exactly so sometimes especially because i don't have time it it takes time so if you yeah. want to know the name it is total drama it would be in, in the link yeah mm -hmm. in english yeah because in french it is um cine défi extreme mm. so in english it is total drama okay so i'm going to T talk about uh, my recommendation. Yeah. Let's go. So as as I just said, oh my god, this that is a dark month because you don't have you recommendation. Uh, yeah, I know. and I have like one or two recommendation for Netflix, one for Netflix, another not for Netflix. It's been sorry. a busy month. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So. Um. What did I what wait watched? What did I watch? Did, oh my god! Anyway, so <laughs> this month, <laughs> um, I watched only um, Lupin, which, if you have listened our showtime number two, you know what it is. Showtime number two. Number two, yeah, because it was in January or February. Oh my God. Because um, I watched Lupin, but season two, yeah. obviously, there is a season one, you know. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so smart. Oh um, my God. <laughs> I wish people can see your face because you were like, so obviously there is a season one. <laughs> anyway. So, if you can't remember what it is about, um, I'm just going to tell you, like, exactly what uh i i've told tell told tell told told yeah. told yeah told exactly. yeah 
told okay Wait, stop what i've told <laughs> what i've told um in show time number two sorry i have low energy today so Lupin, it is inspired by the character of arsene lupin in the books of maurice leblanc and the main character here is Omar Sy, an actor well known in France and abroad. And he plays the role of a gentleman. Oh my god, I can't pronounce it. Gentleman oh, yeah. burglar? Bur oh my god, I don't know. It's okay. You know I what think... I mean? I don't know it's like what. Gentleman cambrioleur. Burglar. I don't even know this. <laughs> oh gosh this word in english you don't know i, I no. know but i can't pronounce it anyway it's b-u-r-g-l-a-r -R. okay <laughs> thank you um so he plays this role and his name is asan job in the series and asan takes uh, inspiration from his favorite character so arsene lupin arsene lupin yeah, Asan Lupin. Uh, using the science of this multifaceted character, like he can change his personality. Not his personality, but he can be like a postman, and the second after, he can be whatever he wants, actually. A policeman, like yeah, a exactly. fighter, yeah, okay. And so he does it to escape the police. And so it's season two, so if you haven't watched the season one, you have to it's you know logical um <laughs> you're judging people you're like it's no but logical yeah season two it means you have season one like you remind me of this it's, like, it's not like movies you can watch the third harry potter with no actually you can't <laughs> it's down but um <laughs> you can do it Ooh, i miss a word you can do it but during a series you you can't you can not like you, so, remind, yeah. you remind me of this trend like on tiktok am i better than everyone else <laughs> anyway why i'm not like you, that because you're like that is logical anyway Wait, yeah <laughs> it is logical yeah <gasps> i'm not like that come on so the second recommendation for netflix part which is not on Netflix. I'm sorry, but I have So what to. is the point? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, everyone knows this series. Yeah, thank you, because I'm kind of struggled today. So okay. it's the Friends reunion. I don't think you've watched it. Uh, it was yesterday, <laughs> no? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, because my no, mom it was, was Thursday. Thursday Actually, my night. mom so so it on the tv yesterday so oh, it's not okay. possible alex i'm telling you it was thursday but my mom we're said sunday about so obviously you slept like two days or i don't know i don't know <laughs> what my mom was watching then it was something about about friends okay. maybe it was like an interview or some i don't know but um yeah okay anyway uh, i watched it um i think it's it's on um in france i don't know where you can find it on the internet anyway you can if you want you can um okay thank you alex you have you people can't see you but how can you say that like it is called a yon really yeah but i don't know how to pronounce this word either <laughs> okay great um so friends reunion maybe some people have watched it maybe not i think it was a great a great reunion i mean it was not you know um an episode where you found the characters again like 20 years later i think nobody wants it once yeah wants it once yeah uh but it was a good thing because it was a reunion, right? But I don't know. Sometimes during the documentary, I felt like they did it just for doing it, just for the fans, exactly, and not because they wanted to. But it's you know, not, yeah. It's it's you know because then they knew 
it was going to be like like, in, like they it was good it was going in to be like a massive um I don't know how to say that advertising like a, and yeah a great thing you know for like the a generation buzz. I don't know how you can explain it, but you it, get it, it like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. because it, it was 20 like... years old, um, it was a good thing for the young people to discover it. And I don't know, I felt sometimes it was too plan planned, script, script, script. Thank you. Yeah. But I, like, I think when you're. Like sometimes when you are in the euphoria of like all the things being like being fun, you don't really see that people sometimes are forcing themselves to do something mm. because you're just so happy to see them back together and doing mm. their things. So like, uh, I don't know, maybe you're like, you're not alone thinking that of course, but um, I think the majority of people, of the people, like I haven't been, sorry, I haven't been talking in the mic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was like, so like the majority of the people, I don't think they like they saw it like like you did. Uh, I'm not saying like um, actors were playing a a role or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. I'm just saying that the reunion was kind of an excuse uh, to um like a, have a new face in their carry ca like carrier. yeah re revive like to yeah expose, revive uh, these, um... expose friends again okay yeah i understand um more than i don't know it was just my feeling it was great huh? yeah, yeah 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 it was great but i don't know i felt sometimes it was more a commercial thing than uh a reunion you know okay That's it. since i haven't been watching um friends and also the reunion i like i don't know how you feel so that's why like i can't really say mm. something you know um yeah guys like dudes sorry if you don't know leslie and i are really different on um um movies and series we watch yeah they're not just because uh showtime yeah for you it's more k-drama and me it's like the typical american series yeah or historical series or things like that yeah that, that you like anyway also, let's go on to the next section which is music it's music only and i'm sorry <laughs> my recommendation for this month would be a latino especially argentinian song by the yeah. band called mia uh m m y a And the title of the song is 250, which can be translated by dos, dos cincuenta in, in Spanish, sorry. <laughs> so it is the remix, by the way, not the actual song, because the remix is with a Tini. singer called Tini and also a rapper called Duki. And uh, I haven't been following Duki, but I know that in the comments, some people were like really surprised by his um i was a venue i guess but not his venue like his he he being in the song like him being him being in the song because he's like the typical rapper like you know singing about harsh things and then you put tini like tini he's um how do i describe her her songs uh reggaeton yeah reggaeton singer and mia like they do ballads and reggaeton too so that was a really interesting <laughs> featuring thank you leslie <laughs> a really interesting uh featuring and i really like the music and i just posted it on my ig story because like people they need to listen to that song <laughs> like they yeah. really need it and Anchor, I don't know if people of Anchor listen to that podcast. Can you please? I don't think so. Put it, I don't know. I don't care. Like, I'm going to say <laughs> it because can you please put the Spotify option for a non American podcaster? Thank you very much. That would be really appreciated. You're funny. Do you know that? I'm funny. Yeah. I am not. 
I'm just yeah. pissed off yes. right now because we don't have the Spotify option and we cannot put the songs that we recommend. Okay, calm down, calm yeah. down. Okay, yeah, yeah. great. So, uh, my recommendation, <laughs> in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, I have a playlist on Spotify and its name is to listen because I have to listen this playlist, right? It's when okay. new songs or new al albums came out, come, came, whatever. Came um, out, yeah. And I, to be honest, I often have like 16 hours to listen. Are you kidding playlist. me? Are you no, kidding me? Are you kidding hours. me? I'm not kidding you. 16 hours is like... 16 hours. 16, right? One, six. six yeah, 16, sorry. Yeah. And I spend my... It was not yesterday. I spent my Friday listen to this playlist while I was doing stuff. And I have now 10 hours, which is a great thing. But it's the same with podcasts, okay? I oh have like God. 40 podcasts to listen and I want to listen to them because it's really interesting, you know. There is some great guests, but I don't have time. I it's okay. Energy. You will have time in two months. It's okay. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. But I have 40, 40 podcasts in ten hours, so it was kind of complicated. I spent and... ten thousand oh hours. <laughs> in... I don't know the lyrics after that. <laughs> Okay, and so when we decided with Alex to record this showtime, I was like, holy crap, I don't have anything because it's been like, <laughs> it's been like two months. I don't have listened any new album or whatever. And so I listened six hours and I don't find anything great. Sorry. Um, but, 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 I find a, a great song, it was in January, so it's not really new, new, it's Bottle Up, Bottle Up, yeah. Bottle Up, yeah. Bottle Up. Bottle by, Up. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. By yeah. Soran, Sor so yeah. Soran. So, so Saran. Saran, I think. Saran. Sorry, Saran. <laughs> Saran. <laughs> Saran. Anyway, uh, it's it's um it's a great thing. It's a great song, sorry. And you have also the acoustic version. Uh both of them are really great. What is it about? A toxic relationship. Um and so yeah, that's a uh, the thing is the real version of the song, like not the acoustic one, is kind of summer vibe. Yeah. While you're singing about a toxic relationship, ah. so the acoustic version is more emotional. He's, but so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's really great. I really like Saran. Uh, actually, I don't. I think it's because I've been sending you some videos of him to you. Hmm? It's yeah, been, I don't know, sure. two years, two years ago, yeah. I think. And uh, like, he really took off. Um, if you like his songs, maybe like we can link his um, Spotify on the on the bio of the episode. Sorry, I was like <laughs> thinking of the word. Because like, he's really, I don't know, he's really authentic. He's not like the other singer that you that you see on ig or even mm. on youtube today my mind is uh, thinking in spanish so oh that's a, yeah. not a great thing because we're in english i know i so... know this is not a spanish podcast like hola anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way soran is um, a canadian yeah he, he's canadian yeah. so yeah yeah and so also i haven't noticed because I listened to this song during like a month, like for real. I, I just like it. And so I had a toxic relationship. Uh, not a, oh my God. How would you say that? A depth, a depth a one? A deep, 
a deep, deep one. Deep one, yeah. deep one. Thank you. But uh, I realized it, and when I listen to this song, I'm like, holy, holy crap! I Again. love this expression. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> holy crap! I it was just like my life for the last weeks, because okay, that is a fun fact too. When I listen to songs, I've I never, never read the lyrics. You know, so sometimes if who I who does that? That is uh, everything I look you, up. You do. I look at the lyrics of the songs I'm listening to. Yeah, you do. Because sometimes I can't understand. Oh, you okay? Like, sorry, I I didn't understand the like the contrary that you weren't looking yeah. at the lyrics. No, I'm But not. You're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm like I'm listening to it, and I'm like yeah. So I like I can understand most of it. Yeah, because. Uh, I can. That's it. Uh, but sometimes I can't understand it, and I'm like, "Hey, that's okay." <laughs> Don't understand. I like the song. I like the song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, you know, people were talking about this Japanese song on uh, IG mm -hmm. that is really famous. I don't, even, I don't remember the, like the name, and uh, the song is so catchy, but it is actually a really sad song. Mm. So that's why you need to look at the lyrics. No, I mean when it's in English or Spanish. When I don't understand a yeah. single word, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch the lyrics. But when I can understand that it's not about, I don't know, I don't know, I don't have any example. <laughs> but... <laughs> you know, uh, but I don't know. if I can understand most of the song, I'm like, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand it's about a love song or whatever. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> So yeah, music recipe. Tum, tum. So today, today yeah. we have like two recipes. Oh my which god! Are, for me, a banana bread because I've been eating this thing the whole month. Like I really like banana bread, and um, it is not vegan, but you can make it vegan. So maybe yeah, I have uh, I have the vegan version. Yeah. So maybe we're going to do something like this on IG to show you guys. But yeah, banana bread is really... Like, it, it's my go-to, honestly. You mm. want to eat dessert? Banana bread. You want to eat breakfast? Banana bread. You want to eat yeah. lunch? Banana bread. Especially with, like, chocolate in the middle. Like, a I'm not a... <laughs> yeah, I know you're not a chocolate <laughs> person. Yeah. But, uh... Oh my god, you're still my friends, right? Yeah, even if I don't <laughs> really like chocolate. So yeah, banana bread for me. What is yours? Okay. Uh, mine is vegan apple cake. It's it's a really basic one, but vegan, right? Mm. And it's really good, actually. I did it for one of my colleagues because it was his birthday. And almost... No, I, I'm not going to say almost because everyone uh, did like like it. Yeah. did like it so and when i say oh yeah it's vegan you know sometimes people when you say yeah so i baked uh and it's vegan and people are like oh right you know sometimes people think yeah. like because it's vegan it's not delicious and so i never say that again and so i say i say it's vegan but after the thing and people are like oh that's that's great because Often people are like, oh yeah, I can't, how do you say that, like, trouble digesting. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes people have uh, trouble digesting Finger? milk, huh? milk, whatever, they can't understand, okay? Finger? We're not American. <laughs> yeah, but still, we need to find this word. Well, sometimes people have difficulty. Oh uh, yeah, digest. For, okay. Yeah, for uh, eating me, eating, drinking milk. Or eating eggs or whatever and so when I say it's vegan people are happy and I like when people are happy um, so yeah you, you basically need flour sugar vegetable milk non-diary milk um, yes, please. oil baking powder Won't you to stop singing when I'm yeah, yeah. <sighs> two or three apples and cinnamon and that's it simple I find the word cinnamon really long <laughs> to pronounce. Cinnamon. Watch me. Cinnamon. 
Uh, we're not talking about French languages because French language, because we have plenty of words that is, that are very long. So the next and last uh, section for this show time is the new one that we've like been we've been including the past two show time. It is the IG account, like someone we like and that we want to share. So uh, for me, I have this this guy account. He's called Rama, and his at is Rama Lau. I will be I will be linking his IG on the bio and on the description <laughs> of the podcast. You you are speaking so slowly. And yeah. yeah, you feel like are you on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rate this podcast explicit one. <laughs> anyway, so wait, so this guy uh, is making some really funny videos. Like you, honestly, you can relate to it. And uh, I don't know how do you call, is that sar sarcasm? sarcasm? Yeah, yeah that's I really like this type of humor. So I just wanted like to, you know, not giving give him a shout out because I I am like nobody to give give him a shout out. But I just like his you content are. so much. And uh, yeah, so if you're listening to that, I like your content. So if you, uh, if you, you are a Friends fan, it's like Chandler. It's Chandler Bing, but in real life. And you can't understand because you don't have the reference, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a character. So if I you know like who Chandler, is Chandler, but... Um... Yeah. Mine is Annabelle Sadler. Again, uh, it is going to be in the description. So I, I like... Um, she's like... A Californian girl from Venice, so it's like my dream life, right? Um, I discovered her in a, a YouTube video uh, of a French YouTuber, um, but I don't know, you know, I like her pictures and it's really colorful and I don't know, I just like her. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Exactly. Okay, guys, so we are at the end of this podcast. It's show time. Like, honestly, if you have not fallen asleep right now, great job because we were speaking really, 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 really slowly today. But it's okay because you have this option that, like, you can put us in two, 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 two time speed. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do the outro today. So please, if you like this podcast, this episode, uh, share it to your friend, your family, I don't know, your neighbor, and uh, we have your a dog. Like yeah, your your dog can count also. Um, we have this this thing called IG. I don't know if you like you ever yeah, heard of it. Maybe yeah. And our name on IG is WhatsApp Dude Pod. So if you want to share to send us a DM. A message i don't know whatever you want you can um maybe maybe new things are coming we're not going to say anything and um if you want to be a guest if you want to talk if you want us to talk about something yeah anyway Please if you tell if us, you have you know any comment to do like on can. how like on how we can improve this show like our in not a, not our English because you know, it, yeah, <laughs> it's good anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, please do not be afraid to send us a message, and uh, we love you, dudes, and bye bye, and see you very soon in a next episode. Have an amazing day.